for joining me here again at Lulu's Toy Review. Today we are going to be opening up a new toy. These are called Nanables and I was able to find these at Target. These were unfortunately the only two that they had left in the box, but they looked so cute and adorable and I had to get them to see what was inside. So it looks like they are little buildings with different themes and they have a small miniature figure that looks a lot like the old Polly Pockets from the 90s. So this one here is the Make It Rainbow Arcade. And then this one is the Milk and Cookie Mill. And they both look super cute and adorable and I love miniature things so I wanted to find out with you what's inside. So let's start with the Milk and Cookie Mill. And we'll take a look at the box first. There is a sticker that says peek inside. And I believe if you look in that peephole there, you can kind of see inside of the building. I don't think these completely open up. I think they just have the outer exterior. And then you can look inside. And then on the box it says Nanables, your world, your way. There's also a text here that says download the app at www.nanables.com so I assume there's an app or a game that goes along with these. And then on the side here it says two nanos included and there's one secret nano. So let's get this opened up. I popped the building out of the plastic and it was a little difficult. I was a bit scared that I was going to break it, but luckily I didn't. And then in there we have our checklist and the secret nano. And these are super duper tiny. So here's the secret nano and she has red hair and it looks like she has a little cookie on her shirt, which is really cute. And she has just a simple kawaii face. And here is the second Nano. So this one has on a green shirt with a little gingerbread cookie on the front. She has a darker complexion with blonde hair. And her face looks a little bit different. It looks like she's smiling deeply and has some uh, winking eyes. So it looks like there are different um, neighborhoods, I guess you could say. So there is Rainbow Way that has the arcade, which we do have to open today. Over the Moon Macarons. Rainbow Teak. Sparkle Day Spa, and that one is so adorable with the unicorn. Then there's also the Gilded Wing that has butterflies, and the Twinkle Twinkle Inn, and that one also looks super cute. Then we have down here Sweetness Town, so we have Cupcake Place, Dusted Donut Diner, the Gumdrop Gazebo, Kettle Corner Bistro, Lollipop Stars Dance Studio, in the milk and cookie mill and we have that one. It says Ginger Bee, a third generation baker, keeps this charming little shop running while her partner, Cinnamon, delivers fresh warm cookies to everyone. How cute. And then on the back of the checklist are the nanos. So it looks like we have Cinnamon and Ginger Bee. So here is the little Nanables milk and cookie mill. And it looks like on the side there is the mill itself and it's made of chocolate chip cookies. And it looks like there is a river of milk around the bottom here. And I guess the milk is what is powering the mill. Then on the front here we have some green detailing. Looks like there's a frosted star cookie at the top where the window is. And then we have this pink door at the bottom. It looks like there is a hinge, but I'm not sure if that opens. Okay, so it looks like it does open up and you could put one of your little Nanables figures oops, inside of the door and store her in there so that you don't lose her. Then on this side, it looks like there are some uh, cake decorations in two windows. And there's a green tile roof with a big chocolate chip cookie at the top. 
Then on the back side, it looks like there is a balcony and also another door at the bottom that doesn't open. And that is pretty much it. So these are really, really cute. I do think it is a missed opportunity that they don't actually open up, but there is the feature of looking inside the peak hole. Uh, let's see if we can do that with the camera. I'm not sure if that will work. Okay, so you can kind of see in there a little bit. Looks like there's a little Nanable baking. And on the side over there, there's a window. And on the table, there are some uh, baked goods, but it's hard to get a good shot inside of there. But that is a cute feature. Uh, if they're not going to actually open, at least you can peek inside and kind of have a secondary level to the playability of the toy. So let's go ahead and put our other animal up here. And that is the Milk and Cookie Mill. So let's go ahead and open the Make It Rainbow Arcade. And wow, this one is super colorful. It's really, really adorable. First, let's check out our characters here. So this one here has a yellow shirt and some green hair, a little bit of a darker complexion. Looks like maybe there's a little bit of glue on her face, but I can probably try to get that off later. And it looks like she has a dye on her shirt, a pink dye with three dots on it. And then our second one has blue hair, and I like the way it's styled uh, on her face. And she has a pink shirt on with a four-leaf clover on the front in red. So this one here is named Carlotta La, and this one here is Chance. So the arcade is shaped like a rainbow and there is a cloud here and a cloud there. It looks like the top of this cloud has a spot for your nano. And then there's a shamrock with the peak hole. And down at the bottom there are some gold coins and it's on a purple platform. Then this door does open so you can store one of your nanables inside. Looks like there is a black pot of gold here. On this side we have a gold star and what looks to be a slot machine and there's also a spot to put your nano there so that they can play the slot machine so that's pretty cute. Then we have some windows on this side and a horseshoe with another peak hole. And then on this side we have a gold shooting star, a gold rainbow, and another slot machine with lots of money pouring out. So this one is actually really, really cute. I like the theme of it, and it just has a great aesthetic. So let's see again if we can take a look into the peephole here. Okay, so if we look in there, and I know it's hard to see, uh, there's a little Nanibal there, and she's playing a slot machine. And she looks like she is having tons of fun. So that is super adorable. I really do like the peak holes on these. It makes it kind of seem like a little secret magic world is happening inside of the Nanable. So let's take our Nanable here and put one of them here on the cloud. And she looks super adorable there. Then we'll take our other Nanable and put them at the slot machine. And how cute. So guys, those were the Nanables, and I don't think that these have a ton of potential for playability when it comes to it being a toy. However, I do think these are adorable as collectible items. I think they'll look great on display on a shelf, and because they're miniatures, I'll probably collect the rest of them because they are really cute. Um, another thing I wanted to mention is that I do like that the packaging in this case 
can also be reused to display the nanobowls. So if you wanted to, you could pop this back in here and take the cardboard out of the dome and peel the sticker off, obviously. And you could use this as a display piece so not all of the plastic trash will just go into the trash and into a dump. You can actually reuse it. And I likely would do so when I display these to avoid them getting dusty and to make use of the extra plastic packaging. So I wanted to mention that. So guys, as always, thank you so much for watching today. Please subscribe if you feel inclined and have a great day. Bye.